Talk to your dad, ask him a few questions. Been arrested before. Yeah. For what? Assault. But it wasn't my fault. Where at? Moline. My dad lived up there for about nine years. What did he do up there? He drove a supply truck. Five ton. Trucker. Hold up your hands. Let me see your palms. Eight minutes after the first officer arrived on the scene, she died of internal bleeding. Her sternum was crushed. She was 54 years old. Lieutenant McNamara is going to drive you home. I have to go do the notification, talk to the victim's families, all that stuff. You okay? I'm sorry. I need you to clear 18, 19, 20, make room for 12. And I need 25 balloons, red and yellow only. Don't play on yours.
steal my lighter? Excuse me? Did you steal my lighter? Why would I steal your lighter? I what do you want? Good beer. Hey. Yes. And, uh, time to get off. You should not be touching me this close at this bar, you know that. You're gonna start rumors. Ma'am, would you please give me a beer? Tomorrow. Yep, I'm closing. You want to come by? Where's my lighter? Stay with me. Where's my lighter? Come on. Where's my lighter? Five more minutes. Where's my lighter? Please. No, I gotta go. Stay with me. I gotta go. And stay away your lip walker. I'll bite your lip walker. I'll bite your lip walker. Oh, 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 oh. I like the beard. Oh, yeah, well, no choice. They only give us razors once a week in here, and uh, guys, they take them apart and they try to kill each other, kill themselves. The whole jail's on suicide watch. Anybody do it? Well, yeah, actually, a big fat guy. He didn't use a razor. He made a noose out of a sheet and hung himself. Did you get the truck? Yeah. The heater's broke. It's a headlight out, but I got a new one at the yard for free. Did you change the belts? No. I just washed it. Oh, yeah, you gotta change the belts. Change the belts or the engine will blow. You gotta use it. I found this in the glove box. You and Mom got this for me. You're 
Oh, is this when you were in the choir? No, it was from my communion. Yeah. Saint Joseph. Joseph, that's your middle name. I'm gonna talk to mom about the money for the bail. No, 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 don't do that. Don't talk to mom. I don't want mom and Randall's money. We moved into a new house. Down south, they have the money. Now leave mom out of it. The house nice? I haven't seen it. Yeah, you know, don't, don't bother mom. Just take care of the truck. You want to do something for me, take care of that truck. Oh, and go to the bank. Take those bank books and see if there's anything in those accounts and talk to that guy, Stan Miller, down at the bank. He'll help you out. Good. Is there anything else I can do? For me, no. I'm, I'm OK. What about you? Fine. Mask on. Take that mask off before you spill everywhere. Look, I'm telling you, if you don't behave yourself and take that mask off, you're going to bed without your cereal. Okay? Hold on. Come here, you. Come here. Hey, BJ. Hey, Randall. Oh, he thinks he's a monster. Say hi to PJ. Hi. All right, go on to bed, monster man. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Come on in, PJ. Like I said, it's not too big. Built in 1980. You like it? Yeah. It smells like paint. Uh, paint, carpet, cigarettes from goddamn carpenters. Basement will never finish. Come on, I'll show you around. Is this a Beretta? Glock, Beretta, same thing. That's standard issue. It's a beautiful weapon. Ten shot clip, five inch barrel. Some departments are issuing these um, yellow stun guns now, but that's what most every cop in the state carries. My dad has this. Uh... Old Remington, an old Kirby rifle. The Kirby doesn't work anymore, though. Yeah, well, if you want to go into the academy, that's what you have to learn to fire. I'm thinking about it. Why do you want to be a cop? So I can have one of these. You'd be a skinny cop. I was a skinny cop, too. Six months in the academy, you have one of those. Right? What? Don't you think you'd be a skinny cop? Too skinny. Why are you talking about guns? Always, always, but first. Got that? Yeah. Sorry. How much is it going to cost? $300. Oh, why so much? The heater? The main engine belt's busted. I have to fix the belts. I don't know. Mom, it's just $300. If you want the money for something practical, then that's different. What about Randall? He said he can get me into the academy. Is he serious or what? I'm not gonna go into the academy. Why not? He shouldn't keep that gun loaded in the garage. It's not loaded. Yes, it was. And he says I'm gonna be a skinny cop. I'm not that skinny. <sighs> can you be nice? What about your girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. That girl, Lauren. No, no, Lauren broke up with me. There is this other girl at work. What's her name? It's no big deal, Ma. It's just work. She's kind of fat, too. So you got big birth hips? <laughs> They're twins. Triplets. Oh. <laughs> Can't you 
you just ask him for the money? For what? For the truck, Ma. The no, truck is don't. severely fucked don't up. Don't yell. I'm not yelling. <clears throat> just ask him. No, I'm not going to ask Randall. That truck ought to be demolished after what your father did to it. Well, it's mine now, and I have to fix it. So can you ask him? He doesn't like me that much. You could ask him. PJ, where's your tie? I lost it. My shirt's too small. Okay, you're gonna get fired. You're gonna get fired? No, I'm not gonna get fired, because Ralph likes me. Ralph yeah. likes you. Yeah, so you really need to start wearing your tie. Because you having a good day? I'm fine. PJ, will you please now um, clear four and seven? Please, thank you. Are you gonna come over later? I can't. Right now, I really have to... I'll clear four and seven. You gonna come over later? Sorry. Your kitchen is filthy. It's disgusting. You should really do something about this. You want to be my maid? What, do you think all Hispanic girls want to be maids? No, I don't want to be your maid. All Hispanic girls are maids. I don't want to be a maid. What do you want to be? I don't know. Maybe a teacher. I know some sign language. I know sign language. Yeah, what do you know? Not the bad stuff. That's all I know. That's yeah, the good I... stuff. Were you arrested? What? I don't know. Ralph said that you were arrested. Yeah, I spent one night in jail. So what? Nothing. Hey. Ralph talks shit. He talks shit about me all the time. I still want you to clean my house. <laughs> Naked. Bank called. I got 10 days to leave the house. I got all this legal shit. Legal shit? A court order for eviction. Shit. That son of a bitch, man. He told me he wasn't going to dump this on me when I was in here. It's not working with me, Dad. I don't have any money. Well, you got to call Ben. You call up Ben, you tell him you need a car, go to work at the mill. I don't want to work at the mill. <laughs> oh, PJ, what? Washington dishes ain't going to cut it. You're not gonna, it's not going to happen that way. What? I called Ben, but he didn't want to talk to me. Hangs up on me. If Ben doesn't want to help me, where do I go? You go to mom. Can't. Randall's got a kid. There's no place to sleep. Uncle Vic. You remember Uncle Vic, my brother? Meeting him at Ben's wedding? 
Yeah, with all the tattoos and the mustache. Yeah, I've been thinking about him. Yeah, yeah, he, he used to wear all that camouflage shit, and he had that little dog. And he smokes a lot. But he knows everybody in this town. He knows everybody. I mean, he's a son of a bitch, but, I mean, if there's one guy that can find you a job, it's Uncle Vic. What kind of job? I don't know, PJ, the kind of job that pays money, you know? What's the matter with you? Change the belts on the truck? Yeah, I changed everything. All the plugs and shit. What's going on? It's company policy here and you're not in uniform. Plus, you were late again. You need to hire another guy back there. I'm doing the work of two people. Look, she's in uniform. Should she take off her tie and give it to you? Because everyone is sick of your attitude. You're looking for someone to complain about. Maybe if you shut your fucking mouth and let me do my goddamn job, you wouldn't have a problem. That's it, Ron. What's going on? Why don't you say the man? No, 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 no. Don't you fucking put your hand on her. You're fired. too soon I thought he'd say something before he walks from my room all I remember was my hands at my side a face of a woman who once was his bride and all I got left with was tears saving lonely volunteers Sister Mary, Sister Mary, you're pale She holds her head sometimes, she walks close to the rail She sings on a Sunday and stands on your stairs She haunts me at night time and I've forgotten my prayers And we don't see much of her here But winter weary and volunteer degrees down there. You can't handle that. What about the office? What about the office? Are you a bitch? That's bitch work. Besides, you're not in the union. I know. I thought you could talk to somebody to help me out. I'm going to talk to Casey. 
Casey's head of the union. You know, Mom and Randall moved to a place in Carbondale. Yeah, talk to Mom. Dad called. Have you gone to see him? Yeah. You must know how big the baby is. Tom's just a fat little poor chap. And she keeps me up all night crying. I thought you had a job. I did. I quit. I got fired. Got into a fight with the manager. Like a fight fight? Yeah. Did you win? No. I just scared him a little bit. Little Peach. Little scrapper. I turned off the water and the power. So I got all the stuff back on my truck. What about my stuff? It's at the house. The fucking man's at the house. Is dad's stuff, is dad's tools and everything still there? Yeah. Peach, that's expensive shit. You've got to get that stuff. I'll get it. Listen, there's a tiger saw that I want. Lee, let's go. I'm talking to my brother. Listen, there's a tiger saw that I want, all right? And a generator, OK? I'll get it. Look at me. I'm going to get it. Does it still hurt in your ears? How many times did I tell you I'm going to get it? Keep screwing around and give your job to your brother. Paul Joseph. You don't remember me, do you? Uncle Vic. How'd you get in here? It's a bad habit, not locking doors. Lights don't work, water shut off. Nothing works except the telephone. Who pays that bill? Some girl called two times. That's your girlfriend? No. Well, I'm not giving you my money. OK. Need a job? I just came to get the saws. I already got your tiger saw. You need a job? Yeah. The only guy I know does a lot of insurance work, fire job, is sloppy shit. Contractor I know gets work from the insurance companies. They have these homes that burn down because the electrical is so goddamn old and all the wiring is corroded. That sound like good work to you? You know, I didn't find out that your dad was arrested until I read about it in the paper. Can you believe that? My own brother. They had that terrible photo of that little smashed up Plymouth. And then the truck just loses a little paneling and a headlight. Your dad put a lot of money into that truck. He loved it. What did my dad tell you about it? Nothing. The first time he called me, it was about you. So what about you? Oh, well, my dad got arrested. My mom ran off with a cop. So what the fuck am I supposed to do? You want to be a smart ass, we can forget the whole deal. Drop the attitude, OK? We're here to figure things out. Right. Listen, you didn't tell me about the job yet. What does it pay? Because I don't work for anything under $10 an hour. Have you ever heard the expression, don't look a gift horse in the mouth? Yeah. I'm offering you an opportunity. I'm not some bar slut you fucking forget, OK? You can't run me over. I guarantee you that. I don't have to help you. You're in a tough spot. I'd be a little pissed, too. But you have to know when to shut up. So, what do you want to know about me? 
Why do you have all those tattoos? I was young, almost as cocky as you. <laughs> That's my joke. I know you're a smart kid. Joined the Corps in 68. You fought in Vietnam? The jungle, yep. What about that arm? Those initials, MB. Old girlfriend. When I was young, that was a cool thing to do, to face your body when you got a piece of ass. <laughs> Who was she? Marianne Bishop. Marianne Bishop. My mom was your old girlfriend? She was your piece of ass? Not girlfriend, just a friend. I introduced her to Carl. When? Long time ago. I met her when she was in nursing school. I was a teacher's assistant at a junior college. You were a teacher? Let me finish. I was a teacher's assistant at a junior college. Right down the street, she drove a yellow VW Bug. I'd see her around if we dated. I introduced her to Carl. He was only 20 years old. He told me I was too old for her. They were the same age. I was too old. He was a kid. They were kids. I went to Vietnam, and they got married. And Corporal Peterson, my best friend of my platoon, gave me this tattoo. I was jealous. <laughs> but it doesn't matter now, does it? Your dad had a family, and he threw it away. I never heard that before. He won't tell you that. And your mom sure as hell won't tell you that. How do I know you're not full of shit? I'm too fucking old to lie about something like that. You don't have to believe a word I say. How come you never got married? When I came back from the war, I was untouchable. Everybody else was in a wheelchair, crazy, walking around in circles, talking to themselves. But I was fine. Did a lot of drinking, did a lot of drugs. But after a few years, joined the Carpenters Union. 28 years there. Now I'm retired with two pensions. I had girlfriends, just didn't get married. That's how you know all those construction guys. That's right. If you're honest with me, like I'm honest with you, maybe we can work something out. OK. So who's this girl who called your house when I was over there? It's just a girl from work. She has a cute face, good values. She's got a big ass, though. <laughs> Big ass won't hurt you, PJ. <laughs> it's an honest answer. <laughs> That's what I mean. You need a place to stay. You got everything you need? Yeah. In the morning, after you shower and shit and all that, keep all your stuff, your toothbrush and everything, in one spot, because I like to keep the bathroom super fucking clean. OK. All right. Hey, Vic. Thank you. Charlie, it's Victor Lee. I'm fine, thanks. How's work? I see you're doing the new bank over off Milton. Well, my nephew was looking for a little work and thought if you needed a runner or someone to clean up some job sites. OK. It's my brother's son. I don't have any kids. He's strong as an ox. I personally vouch for him. He's a good kid. You have boots? <laughs> oh, well, boys, in a few minutes, that fat-ass inspector will be here with that stinking cigar. Ain't he that prick that was on that job where Marty got stabbed by that crazy nigger for $11? Yep, same guy right up the street from that other fire job we did. PJ, you know who Marty is we're talking about? No. 
You don't want to get on the wrong side of him. You'll get all this drywall and shit cleaned up before he gets here, because he's a stickler for that safety shit. All right. You gotta chop those thinner. And you don't have to swing the axe so hard. Is this the area where you hunt? I shot seven deer out here. I used to hunt with Ben. Did he kill one? Ben can't shoot worth a shit. I took him out here four days before he got married and tried to teach him a few things. Couldn't hold the rifle steady. I think he was more interested in drinking my scotch than he was learning how to shoot. He's not very agile. It's too slow. So when you sell all this wood, how much do you make? Right now, $25, $30 a bundle. I sell to gas stations and grocery stores. It keeps me busy. So what about you and Ben? I give Ben a lot of credit. He works his ass off. Ben's a lot like me. Ben's wife had a cesarean section for the baby. And after that, Ben kind of got all fucked up. How's that? Huh? He cheats on Maria. He lies to everybody. He's fucking this bartender. That's his business. What about you? What about your girl? What about your career? I don't have a girl. Not yet. You can waste a lot of time and a lot of money chasing women. You chase girls, they run away, right? Yeah, so? You don't chase. That's the key. You say you don't have a girl, but you do. This girl with a big ass likes you, right? She's Mexican, though. So what? Just don't be a pussy chaser, because it's a waste of time. Be smart about the people you invite into your life. So I can end up like you? Alone? I'm all I need. Nobody can put up with me, so I can chase all I want. You got that? Chocolate. I know. They checked. They don't have it. I called your house about two weeks ago. And some old guy picked up the phone. Vic. Who is that? It's my uncle. I got kicked out of my house, and now I live with my uncle. I was going to call you, but with my new job and everything, I look different. Yeah, I just curled my hair, but I don't really like it. I like it. I know why you got kicked out of your house, PJ. It's because I didn't. Don't say anything, because you had a chance to say it, and you didn't. I know about your dad, and I know about everything. Who said that? People at work. you a lot. And I just really hope that sometimes you think about me, too. I do think about you. Well, I got some lawyer for me about 35. It's a pain in the ass, because 
promising me the moon. I missed you last Tuesday. Your Uncle Vic got me a job. Hey, do you remember a guy named Charlie Haskell? Charlie Haskell? Same Charlie Haskell I played baseball with in high school? He's my boss. Well, tell him Merry Christmas. I was thinking all morning about Christmas, you guys growing up. One morning you got up early and you went downstairs and you opened up all the presents. Mom was upset because uh, she didn't get any pictures. But I got you this bike and you were riding the bike outside in the snow in your pajamas. <laughs> it was 10 degrees outside when you were so goddamn excited. Do you remember that? Yeah, the training wheels kept getting stuck in the snow. Yeah. Well, uh, this thing's gonna cut out on me, PJ, so I'm gonna say um, Merry Christmas, you know? Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you and to everybody. Yeah. Hello, Carl. Is that you, Vic? Hang in there. Now you keep my boy straight, okay? Straight as an arrow. Bye, Carl. Dear Lord, we thank you for this food this opportunity to share it with one another. We ask that you look over those who are no longer with us and others who cannot be here with us tonight. All these things we ask in your name. Amen. Amen. Let's eat. Uh, is this your way of telling me I'm sorry that I'm a lighter stealing? <laughs> Steal your lighter. He loves it. Thank you. Yeah, I'll uh, take you down to the station house. You'll sign some paperwork, meet Chief Keshner, and I'll. I'll take you down to Junkie Town. Saturday or Sunday? Whatever day you want. So I'm gonna be in the car the whole shift? Yep, 10 hours. We'll ride all over town. I'll walk you through everything. You're serious, right? Serious about what? I'm taking PJ on a ride along this weekend. Where's the soap for the dishwasher? I'm serious. Is that the girl from work? Yeah. She's really cute, really nice. Oh, no, is she okay? So why didn't you tell me you got fired from work? I didn't get fired, I quit. Plus, I got a job with uh, Uncle Vic. PJ, that's warm this weekend. So you did have a good time? I did. OK. I would have lied. The chocolate cake was good. The chocolate cake was You weren't good. just making a face to make it look like it was, it was actually tasty. No, I'm not a good actress. Because she did make it just for you. It's very nice of her. Your family is really cool. I had such a good time. Thank you for coming. De nada. When I tell you about speaking Spanish in here, this is an English speaking oh, truck. You see eight eight Mexicans in the back with a snowblower? No, and if they were there, they wouldn't have a snowblower because it doesn't snow in Mexico. Oh. Bad joke. Bad <laughs> joke. You really need to learn some Spanish. I know. I don't have anyone to teach me. Oh, I can teach you. Okay. Okay. Teach me some Spanish. Tienes los ojos lindos. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> uh, what does that mean? Soy tu novia. Soy tu novia. Soy tu novia. Soy tu novia. Si sí or yes? Si. Sí. Si. Sí. <laughs> what does that mean? I asked you if I was your girlfriend. You tricked me. I did. And you can't take it back, so there. I don't want to take it back. Yeah. I gotta go. No, you don't. Yeah, I gotta go. You can stay here and sleep. No. You can sleep with me and Uncle Vic. I'd love to. I don't want you to go. I don't want to go. 
like it. Do you know a girl named Lucy Jones? From high school? No. no who's that? Ben, don't lie to me. Hurry up. Go to bed. No, I'm not gonna go back to bed. I've been laying in bed all night waiting for you. So what happened? Is something going on? patient with you. Are you fucking her? No. No. We are barely making it here. Look at us. Look at where we live. It's Christmas. You realize that? over again. Keep your hands off me. Just, no! I fucking hate you. I fucking hate you. Agent, please. Ben Lee, yeah, I'm his wife. I'm leaving and I'm taking Jenny to my mom's. Do you want anything else out of the kitchen? Yeah, just I get the baby stuff. Sure. That your hair's fine. just need to know where the key to the deposit box is. Yes, the key! For the bank! My mom got these gifts for the baby. You know what? I don't want these. I don't. This is not what I want. Can you just take them? I can't take them back. So the truck's full. Well, I want, I want to put the TV in there. Well, the truck's full. I mean, if you're going to, you're going to have to sit up front with it. It's Ben's TV. I wasn't talking to you. 
Listen, what do, you, what do you want that TV for? It's not even 13 inches. Why don't you just go out and buy a new one? Ben gave me that TV for my birthday. Okay, then we'll take the TV. you a question. Hmm? Is it uh, true about what your dad did? What did my dad do? Ed said he's uh, in jail because he uh, killed somebody. It's an accident. Yeah, but she's dead, dude. I'm sorry. There's a lot. Sometimes you can ride around the whole fucking day and nothing happens. I gotta be honest with you. Sometimes it's hard to feel like a cop. Yeah, you wanna be involved in everything, making things right, helping people, but half the time, what I do? Chase some broke down station wagon that was stolen two months ago? Spend the whole day running plates? Trying to referee people's problems, can't take care of themselves? Nobody tells the truth. Everybody lies. For what? So you can call yourself a police officer? Put on a uniform every day? When my first wife died, I was bad news, boy. Bad news. Two kids. Couldn't even sleep in my own bed after that. I had to move. Mom was so nice to her when she was in the hospital. So nice. So you learned anything today? How old do you have to be to be in the academy? I told you you're old enough. Just need a sponsor. Get an apartment to sponsor you. You in. You head on straight. You clean. No felons. I'm clean. All right, then. Go for you to 12. 1076. I'm on the way. Here we go. Get him up. 
What happened? I took the domestic call and he came out with a gun. I didn't do shit. You shut up. She says he threatened you. All right, you talk to her. What the fuck are you talking about? Shut up. I didn't do shit to you. I didn't do shit to you. You got my TV? This is from Mom. Where you been, Ben? It's a canary. Ginny saw it in the pet store, so I got it for him. His name's Sebastian. The parakeet? You owe me a TV. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You were here when she took it. You didn't do anything to stop her. You owe me a TV. Besides, you're working. Yeah, Uncle Vic got, a, got me a job working construction. So you're working now? Good job, steady income. You still dating that fat Spanish girl? Amy, you found one. She's not that fat, man. She's got like 15 pounds on you. Does she have big tits or small tits? They're good. You know, it's kind of like the trade off. If you're going to fuck a fat girl, she's got to have these big bombs. You know what I'm saying? I have fucked some fat girls in my time, man. Fat white girls, fat black girls, fat Asian girls. I never fucked a fat Spanish girl. What's in here? 50 bucks. Random. I'm a dad never did shit like this. The only fucking thing I can remember dad doing is when he used to get us up early in the morning to go shovel the driveway after it snowed. Remember that? Yeah. You and I sit there fighting over the one pair of boots that we had. Sit out there fighting in the snow. I used to kick you little ass. Well, you're a lot bigger than me. A lot stronger, too. Who do you think would win now? You. I don't know. I don't know. You're a tough little shit. You know, you and I are a lot alike. No. Not really. No? What about Lucy? She's hot, right? See, there's something we have in common. You like the same pussy? You fuck her? No. Did you tell Maria about her and I? No. Either you fucked Lucy or you told Maria that I did. So which is it? You're being paranoid. No, I'm not being paranoid. You're a little liar. Man, all I know is I was at Ma's party. Maria called and you weren't there. I got the card and the gift. I came over here and that's it. So you fucked Lucy. Right? You were at the bar the other night, weren't you? Yeah. Peach, I don't care. Why do you feel like you have to lie to me? Tell Dad your lies when you go see him? What does Dad have to do with this? Does he ask about me? He says Merry Christmas. He says what? He told me to tell you Merry Christmas. The only fucking thing I remember about Christmas with Dad is when Ma tried to leave with us. She's screaming and crying. 
trap mom in the bathroom. He never did that. Yes, he did. You were too young to remember. He did it then and a lot of other times, but don't you remember mom in the bathroom screaming and crying? He's fucking nuts. How long dad's gonna get if he's found guilty? He is guilty. Seven years. Well, that's seven years of collect calls. I'm not gonna accept. I've got fucking child support and alimony, whatever the fuck it is. I gotta hire my own goddamn attorney now. Well, it's your fault, Ben. And that's why you're so fucked up. Cause you blame everyone but yourself. At least I'm not a fucking little liar. So which is it? Because it wouldn't surprise me if you fucked Lucy and told Maria. So which is it? It's neither, you paranoid fuck. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to kick your ass? Yeah, that's why I came over here, Ben. I want you to kick my ass. Full shit. It's a nice bird over there. And it sucks that there's no one here to appreciate it. Where's your kid, Ben? What, are you gonna fucking leave now? Yeah, just like you, remember? So fuck you! Fuck Lucy! Fuck your fat fucking wife! And your scar on her fucking stomach! Oh, really? Huh? You're a fucking liar! Say it! fight back? Yeah. He got into a fight with Maria and he thought it was because of me. He went crazy. What happened then? Nothing. I didn't tell him anything bad. What? What do you mean? What didn't you tell him? I'm gonna turn myself in. I'm gonna tell him it was an accident. Hey, what are you talking about? I, like I should have turned myself in. All this shit happened. I got nowhere to go. I got nothing to do. I got no, I got no one to talk to. Listen to me, PJ, okay? Just listen to me, all right? Don't talk to anybody. Just listen, all right? I mean, it doesn't make any difference whether it was an accident or not. I mean, it wasn't an accident, but that doesn't mean anything. I mean, this woman, she's dead, and we're sorry. And someone has to take responsibility. I mean, believe me, they don't care who. 
They don't care who takes the blame. They just want to have somebody to pay. And you come in here now, this would destroy your life. They're not going to find out that. They're going to find out what I did. No, they're not. They're not going to find anything out as long as you keep your mouth shut. You don't say anything. That's all you got to do is live your life. Forget about this. Stay out of trouble. You promised me. Just stay out of trouble. That's it. But you're not guilty. And I both know that things were never good. I left. I left my family. I left my kids. I turned my back on you guys. You grew up. I don't know how I wasn't there. Right? I missed all those years of you playing soccer, Ben playing football. I left you guys. So, and then when I wanted to come back, it was too late. Well, maybe I owe you a little bit, huh? Maybe I got a little bit of guilt. I don't know what else to tell you, PJ, except that I don't want you to be like me. Don't be like me. Don't do what I did. Don't do it. You let me do this, okay? I owe you. You just promised me you're going to stay out of trouble and you're going to let me do these years. Because I can do this, PJ. I mean, it's seven years. That's all it is. All you got to do is believe that this is the right way to go and then forget about it. Believe it in your heart that this is right. Let me do it. Forget it. How come you're here? How come you're not at work? I quit. Turn around. That's why my bathroom's all bloody. You got blood all over my towels, too. I'll clean it. Too late. I already did. What happened to your eye? Who'd you get into it with? Ben. Speak up. Ben! Go put the juice back into the refrigerator. It's empty. Remember when we were talking about you being honest with me? That was part of our agreement. What agreement? You only helped me because my dad asked you to. You're exactly right, but it's a two-way street here. Charlie Haskell did me a favor, and you shit all over it. We're family, you and me. And I'm sick of your inability to take some goddamn responsibility for I things. hated that job. There's something in life called respect. And you earn it. But you don't seem to know that. I'm sorry about the job, Vic. What do you want me to say? You're not sorry. You didn't come to me and tell me anything. I have fed you. I've done your laundry. I've let you save every goddamn penny you earn. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of taking all your calls from that goddamn girl. I don't even know her name. It's none of your fucking business. Why? You expect me to do everything else? You can't tell me about that? She was fine a month ago. What's your excuse now, PJ? Because you don't make any sense. And you like this girl. I can tell, but you won't bring her around me. You think you know something about me because we have the same last name? You don't know shit about me. I see a scared kid who's becoming a person he doesn't want to be. Stop looking down on people, PJ. You don't look down on people. Your brother. Yes, you do! Me! I don't know. Ben cheated on his wife, and she left him. OK, so that's why you're so mad? I'm not mad. Yes, you are. You're mad that your dad's in jail. So what? You're mad that your big brother beat you up. So what? And you're mad that you know I'm right. What do you want me to do? I want you to put everything on the goddamn line with me right now. Things are fucked up. Pick one to fix. Because you can't have it all. Trust me. I've had people come and go in my life, too. My father was killed in Korea when I was 11 years old. 
They didn't even send the goddamn body back. Just the goddamn dog tags. My brother died six months later. I fucked a lot of things up in my life after that. Now you pick one. I'm gonna leave. Bullshit. I'm gonna drive into town and put money on the table for your dad. My dad says he's guilty. I don't care. What if I say no? It's not your decision anymore. What do you want me to do, Vic? I don't know. I don't know. I just... I just wanted things to work out a little bit better between you and me, that's all. All night long I've been riding, riding I should have been there by now These old county roads got a lot of deep holes And the rain keeps pouring down The bridge is washed out and the rising, rising Waters of the river rush by Lumber up to my fenders and mud And to my witness above I'm really stuck this time Got a gold hot locket on a silver chain clenched tight in my fist The pouring rain and the only road Back home again is all but washed away Well I'm gonna cross that river tonight No matter what it takes Though I might die trying My true love will remain in a gold hot locket on a silver chain and Open it up and she's lovely, lovely eyes of hazel green but I close it up fast cause the rain gets past and lays a tear down on her cheek Promised her once that I'd never ever break her heart again So Lord take me there with a silent prayer and a locket in my hand the last thing I remember I was fearing for my life she was calling out my name from over on the other side well, I reached out to hold her, but the break was just too strong And the silence just gets colder as the river rages on Hey Vic, 
Doctor. Hey, Carl. <laughs> How are you? You want me to tank your gas driving all the way out here? Yeah, well, I'll be a hell of a lot more than that. Thanks. Hey. Just wanted to come by. You see my granddaughter? She's, um, she's with Maria. They'll be back. Well, I, I can come by later then. Did you get out? What's going on? No, well, Vic posted bail. You know, he's the one with all the money in the family. Not gonna be out for long, though. Maria, she, she um, she left me. It's, it's been hard. I'm sorry that happened, son. So am I. Yeah, it's terrible. You know, Ben, I know that you don't like me. And that's okay. Would have done the same thing for you. What? <laughs> what would you have done for me? I would have. I would. I would have done what I, whatever I could. That's it. I just wish that... I wanted to be a better dad. Yeah, me too. Just take care of yourself. Sure. Yeah. Take care of yourself, all right, man? Okay. You too. You too.
You see Ben? Ben, yeah, I saw Ben. I can't believe Ben is almost 30 years old. Well, and Jenny turns one in two weeks. You always wanted a girl, right? Yeah, but two boys was more than enough. I gotta go back soon. Trial's not over, but it will be over quick. PJ asked me for money a while back to get you out. I told him no. Think it's worth it? I know Vic's never gonna let me off the hook for it. Never has. But, you know, I told PJ not to ask you. But, yeah, I do. I do think it's worth it, yeah? I mean, now. I haven't seen you in a year. Now I've seen you, and now it's just me. I'm alone with it. Oh, it's not just you. It's everybody. Things like this don't just go away, Carl. Well, I understand that, Marianne. I mean, I know they don't just go away. You're not gonna finish your food? Oh, I'm full. Ben, it's me, PJ. What's up, buddy? Just wanted to tell you that they're gonna read the verdict on Thursday. In case you wanna go. Okay. I saw Dad. I know. He looks a lot older with a beard, huh? Yeah. I'm thinking about going in the uh, police academy. Hey, um... I'll see you Thursday, okay? Okay. Gonna freeze this winter? Freezes every winter. Yeah. Temperature change and everything, it might be different. Maybe. You good on time? Yeah. You wanna tell me something, Carl?
You should read some before you lie. Just let me read some, and then we'll dry the holy water. It's turning blue. Like I need this. If I need you, a mile of hoping. Here I stand. It's fire hoping. You take my. Look at this guy. Looks like he's making a muscle. He got that picture. Yeah. Yep. Ben says uh, it's an ugly baby. <laughs> oh, Ben. All babies are ugly. They're born ugly. Then you look okay for about 40 years, and then you start to get ugly again. That's just the way it goes. You saying I was ugly? You? Well, you're still ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta give you some shit. I get shit from you, from Uncle Vic. From Ben, from Amy, I get shit from everybody. Yeah, well, it's working. See, your head's still screwed on tight. I graduate from the academy next week. Congratulations. Thanks. Way to go. Damn. Where are they gonna put you? South City. It's dangerous down there. Yeah, you better watch your ass. I will. Moving into an apartment. Amy got a job teaching out of school. Gonna get married? I don't know. People tell me not to, you know? Yeah, well, I guess you wait and see. You wait and see how it goes. And keep you posted. I will. <sighs> well, I mean, this thing's gonna cut out pretty soon. I hate that, so... Keep writing letters, all right? Send the pictures. The pictures are great. Okay. Now watch out for that second one. Second what? Second kid. It's always a bigger pain in the ass than the first. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, it's the truth. How do you know? All right. Lights of town fade. I traded out the retrograde. I 
Don't have much but for what I say Now I'm at it The wind is whistling through the wind No radio, so I sing Yesterday feels like a dream Now I'm at it home Rolling through the dark of night No one in sight This time I am Above the ground, the only sound is me living now, not dying. I love a girl who brings good news. The color of her eyes are changing blues. One true kiss I Now I'm on my way Sending out my signal flare God thank you for my answer prayer Keep us safe till I get there Now I'm Traded out the retro gray. I don't have much but for what I say. And now I'm headed home. 